I know it's been a while since I really like made anything because I have been busy working my second job a lot and trying to get that established and so I am cooking something today because I am hungry and um, I'm not out and about so I hadn't grabbed nothing so I'm cooking something at home I started my pork um, pork riblets it's not pork riblets but um let's see what it's called <laughs> it's just some pork um that you can barbecue with or whatever and i went on and put it in my slow cooker and it has cooked for like five hours so it's really tender i added some green peppers and some um pearl onions in it and a little beef, beef broth, salt and pepper, and uh, garlic. And so I put it in there. So that's cooking. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Right now, I am working on my sweet potatoes. I have them in here. I have done sweet potatoes before in the past. So y'all have seen the sweet potatoes. And also, I'm going to do this banana pudding because everyone's been talking about when you're going to do the banana pudding. So that's what... I'm gonna do as well. So right now I just have my sweet potatoes right there um, in a pot. I'm gonna add a little pepper in there and some salt. Even though we're gonna make it sweet, you know the salt kind of brings out that sweetness in it. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon. Now the the um, sweet potatoes I'm using they are not from scratch. Um, this is called Sugary Sam. It's a sweet potato, golden cut sweet potatoes. And um, I'm using that today. I'm going to put a little bit of regular sugar in here as well. And a little bit of butter. Let me grab that. Probably a tablespoon and a half I'm gonna put in there as well so what we're gonna do is let these sweet potatoes uh, simmer they're just gonna simmer on the stove and um you know it's pretty much already cooked we're just making it tender and then we're gonna add a little bit of um, cornstarch to it to thicken it up and I'm going to make just some plain white rice to go with it. And I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what this, uh, the pork is looking like. All right, guys, as you can see, it is, uh, very nice and tender. Look at this. So they're pretty much like pork ribs without the rib in there or whatever. It's pork pieces. And all I did was season them up. And I have these little pearl onions. These are little pearl onions right there. Along with some green bell peppers. Now the pearl onions, the green bell peppers are both from um, my dumpster finds. And I just let it get tender. I mean, let me show y'all how tender this is. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, nice. So it's just going to sit here and... Um, yeah, we're just waiting on these sweet potatoes. And like I said, I'm going to cook up some uh, white rice to go along with it. Okay, guys. So why I have, um, while I have my rice boiling, I'm going to go ahead and make this banana pudding. Um, and we're going to use the, it says easy, easy southern style banana pudding. My rice is trying to over trying to boil our thing and um so it acts for two and a half whoops sorry i'm in the dark y'all uh let me bring this closer to me um it acts for two and a half cups of milk so this is two let me show y'all what i'm doing and i need a half my 
my half. Now I already have layered my pan, just said layer it with my cookies. And let me get my bananas. Here is my ripened bananas, my dumpster bananas. And um, I got too much stuff going on up in this area. But anyway, here is the pudding mix. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up in here. milk and whisk for two minutes. See, that's kind of wiggly, but I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up these bananas, and I'm just going to do banana slices on top of that. On top of my cookies I already have. Very soft bananas. So you just slice it. Be careful. If you feel like you might cut yourself, then do it on a cutting board. These bananas are very, very ripe. But this is going to make it taste better, right? Okay. Our banana stuff was getting thick really quick already so we're gonna hurry up and put that on top of here i'm gonna get us a nice little spatula Press it all down. Let's do that. Let's put our dumpster Cool Whip on top of that. I'm improvising, y'all. I'm just making it as I go because I really want to do some crumbles of um, the banana, um, the vanilla wafers on top. I think that would be really cool. Yum! It's looking delicious. All right. You know what? We can crush them. Let's do it like this. All right. Now we're just gonna take these crumbs. And sprinkle it on top. Ooh, now that's beautiful. Look at that. It's okay to improvise. If you wanted to, you can put some chocolate syrup and drizzle on across there. Or, um, you know, there's no certain way you have to do it. Make it how you want to. I think that looks lovely. What do y'all think? Let me wipe my hands with this towel. Let me show y'all this banana pudding. Oh yeah. My dumpster bananas and my dumpster cookies with my dumpster Cool Whip. The only thing I did get from the store was that dollar um, package of the vanilla um, pudding mix. But that looks nice. We're going to put this in the refrigerator. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. Alright guys. Here is my food. Here's my sweet potatoes. And my rice. With my pork tenderloin. And um, it has the pearl onions and green peppers in there. So uh, this is what I'm going to eat 
I was going to make something green to go in this little area, but you know what? It could. I should have put some cornbread there, but your girl is hungry. <laughs> so, um, this is what it is. And let me show you um, the banana pudding now. All right, guys. Here is the banana pudding. Look at that. Yum. Just look at the layer of Cool Whip and the vanilla cream, the banana cream and the vanilla wafers. And that's what the pan looked like. Yeah, your girl put a big old scoop in that. I'm about to enjoy this piece. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.